ever pondered about the health of our oceans? If not, it's high time we do. Our oceans, once brimming with life, now face an onslaught of challenges, many of which are man-made. For instance, has escalated to an alarming degree, with plastic waste forming colossal islands, the most notorious being the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This monstrous entity, located between Hawaii and California, spans a staggering 1.6 million square kilometers, which is thrice the size of France. A significant decline in marine life has been observed, with species struggling to survive amidst the pollution and the warming waters. Our oceans are heating up, a consequence of the relentless carbon emissions we pump into the atmosphere. Oceans, once a symbol of the Earth's beauty and richness, are now becoming a symbol of our neglect and indifference. The question remains, how long before the damage becomes irreversible? Numbers do not lie and in this case they scream for immediate attention. Let's dive in, shall we? Every year an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic find their way into our oceans. That's like dumping a garbage truck full of plastic into the ocean every minute. Now can you imagine the magnitude of that? The sheer scale is almost incomprehensible. Next, let's talk about the number of plastic items in the ocean. It's estimated that there are over 5 trillion pieces of plastic floating around in our oceans. That's more than the number of stars in our galaxy. These pieces are not only unsightly, but also incredibly harmful to marine life and ecosystems. Now, let's focus on the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This gigantic floating trash island located between Hawaii and California is twice the size of Texas. Yes, you heard that right, twice the size of Texas. With a total weight of about 80,000 metric tons, it's like having 500 jumbo jets floating in the middle of the ocean. But what's even more alarming is the projected future if this trend continues. By 2050, it's estimated that there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish, by weight. That's a future that's not too far off, and it's a future that we must strive to avoid. And let's not forget about microplastics. These tiny particles, less than 5 millimeters in length, are a hidden menace. They're small enough to be ingested by marine life, entering the food chain and eventually making their way to our plates. These figures paint a grim picture, one that we cannot afford to ignore. The statistics are a wake-up call, a reminder that we must act now to protect our oceans and the life they sustain. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is not just a distant problem, it's a tangible symbol of the damage we're inflicting on our planet. We need to rethink our relationship with plastic and take action to create a cleaner, healthier future. Figures paint a grim picture, one that we cannot afford to ignore. It's not just about the water, it's about every living creature that calls the ocean home. The pollution choking our oceans, specifically the monstrous entity known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, is not an isolated issue. It's a lethal hazard that's affecting marine life in ways we're only beginning to understand. Imagine, for a moment, the life of a sea turtle. It's swimming through its oceanic home when it spots a jellyfish, its favorite food. Only, it's not a jellyfish. It's a plastic bag. The turtle, unable to distinguish between the two, ingests the bag. This scenario is far from fiction. It's a daily reality for countless marine creatures. They mistake our discarded waste for food, leading to malnutrition, starvation, and ultimately, death. But ingestion isn't the only risk. Entanglement is another deadly consequence of the garbage patch. Dolphins, seals, turtles, and countless other species become trapped in discarded fishing nets or plastic debris. The more they struggle, the tighter the noose becomes, often leading to severe injuries or suffocation. The garbage patch also disrupts habitats, transforming once thriving ecosystems into toxic wastelands. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea, are particularly vulnerable. The debris smothers the corals, blocking sunlight and altering the delicate balance of the ecosystem. And then there's the impact on the food chain. Tiny creatures known as zooplankton ingest microscopic plastic particles. Small fish eat the zooplankton, larger fish eat the smaller fish, and so on. The plastic moves up the food chain, accumulating in larger quantities in the bodies of top predators, including us, humans. It's a grim reality, but it's one we've created. Every plastic bag, every discarded fishing net, every piece of debris in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a testament to our negligence, yet it's also a call to action. Our actions are wreaking havoc on a world beneath the waves, a world that we depend on more than we realize. The situation is dire, but not hopeless. We can turn the tide. The power of change lies in our hands. It's time to shift our perspective, to see not just the problems, but also the solutions. 
Firstly, let's talk about the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reducing our use of plastic is the first step. Simple changes like using a reusable water bottle or avoiding plastic packaging can have a significant impact. Reusing items rather than discarding them can also limit the amount of waste we produce. And recycling, while not a panacea, is a crucial component of the solution. By ensuring our waste is properly disposed of, we can prevent it from ending up in our oceans. Then, there are cleanup efforts. All around the globe, organizations and individuals are taking action to remove plastic from our oceans. From beach cleanups to deep sea expeditions, these efforts are making a difference. But it's important to remember that cleanup is only part of the equation. We must also stop the flow of plastic into our oceans in the first place. Next, let's consider innovations in plastic alternatives. Scientists and entrepreneurs are developing new materials that can serve the same functions as plastic without the harmful environmental impact. From biodegradable packaging to edible cutlery, these innovations hold promise for a future without plastic pollution. And finally, let's talk about you. Yes, each of us can contribute to the solution. By making conscious choices, supporting sustainable companies, and spreading awareness, we can drive change. It's not about perfection, but about progress. Every small action adds up. The challenges we face are great, but so too is our capacity for innovation, our determination to protect our planet, and our power to affect change. Together we can restore the health of our oceans, ensuring a thriving ecosystem for future generations to come.